Hey you guys, it's the Gaming Mermaid, and welcome to another episode of The Sims 4 Vampires. In the last episode, I kind of had to end it off because Dracula was in a very strange glitch, and it looks like it's fixed now. He can actually go to sleep, so that is great. So what I wanted to do, and also in the last episode, we changed Summer Holiday, and she transformed into a vampire. So she's not too happy about that. And what I wanted to do is also figure out how to become a vampire hunter. So what I wanted to do for that, since I did get some suggestions, since this vampire, Ilona, she is a good vampire. So I figured it would make sense if she became the vampire hunter to try and help her family uh, cure themselves of vampirism. So she's going to go over here. She wants to use the computer to search for information on vampires. She's going to learn about everything there is to know about vampires and then and once she knows everything there is to know about vampires, basically that is when she will be able to learn how to create a vampire cure. And I believe that is a drink that you have to make. And that's when the wolfsbane flower comes in. You need wolfsbane flower, you need garlic and plasma fruit. So a combination of all of that, and then she will be able to create a cure. So uh, she's got a lot of work to do. You know, she's waiting for Vlad to get off the computer. Can you please leave? Thank you. So she's gonna go ahead and learn everything there is to know about vampires. So she's gonna have fun with that. And in the meantime, Elizabetha is still pregnant, so obviously what we want to do in this episode is give birth to the vampire baby. Let me check out where she is right here. She is in her second trimester in nine hours, but that is a little too slow. Like, that is too slow for me. She's discovering secrets. Vlad is just, like, creepily staring at them sleeping. Like, what is going on? Uh, so what I wanted to do is, first of all, we need to get some more strawberries. I'm going to go ahead and... What is going on? Work for summer starts in an hour? Is she? Oh, she still has work, apparently. Where where, where do you work, girl? Like, what? Uh, I don't think that's a good idea because she's the head dishwasher. Well, oh my god. Do you see? <laughs> oh my god. Ew. Look at that. Look at the size of that spider. If that spider was in my kitchen, I would literally cry. I would cry very large tears. Oh my god, it's moving. Oh my god, it's moving. Um, um, what? What? Clean that up, please. Can they interact? She can view it. I wonder what that would do. Like, would she get scared? Like, look at the size of that spider. Do you not care about that? That's just a tarantula. That is a tarantula right now. Like, do you not care? She's like, oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. If it was moving like that in my kitchen, I would not just be, like, casually staring at it. Okay. Uh, why don't you go ahead and clean this up? Let me see if there's any plasma fruit. No, there is not. So we're gonna... Oh, I think what we can do, actually, is go to the computer and then order some plasma fruit from there uh, because we're probably going to need to do so. We can order garlic seeds and we can order some plasma packs. So we're gonna definitely need a lot of these. I'm gonna order... I'm gonna order 10 for now. So he's got that. Let me just put this over here so that everybody can grab some plasma as needed. <laughs> Vlad's already taken it. He's like, oh, don't mind if I do. All right, so it looks like Alona is moving on up. So now she wants to make five friends, reach level four of the vampire lore, and drink a plasma pack, which she's going to do. Oh, wait, there's a lot more. Don't drink deeply for five days in a row. Okay, so we're going to have to make sure not to do that. I made sure to buy plenty of plasma packs. It looks like Vlad is just like taking hold of like all the inventory because he's like yes i need to make sure i drink all of it so why don't you go ahead and drink your little plasma pack she needs to make two more friends so let's see who is she friends with she's not friends with vlad like hello you need to do that you can be friends with summer too that's and christopher barnes like you need to do all of that so why don't we go ahead and be you know discuss plasma flavors with vlad you know get to know him a little bit oh it looks like elizabetha is now a minor vampire she has started the ascent to the unhallowed rank of grand master vampire keep using powers researching vampires and talking to other vampires to earn more vampire experience awesome oh looks like dracula finally woke up and he's got his little plasma pack going on everybody's discovering vampire secrets nobody has gotten to like like the ultimate level of knowing everything about vampires so we definitely need to go ahead and do that and Alona is now a minor vampire so that is great she needs to get to vampire lore level four. Oh, what is she looking at she's like super romantic right now she's feeling super flirty why is he singing <laughs> do you hear this why he's just like randomly singing okay 
Okay, Vlad, you're, you're, you're kind of freaking me out here. So I do have the MC Command Center. So I could technically just have her, you know, we could like actually just change how the pregnancy works. So we can have her have the baby right now if we wanted to. I kind of want it to be as legit as possible. Oh my gosh, is she like burning up? What is going on? Why is she burning up? Oh, feverish. Elisabetha is hot, like super hot, and not that good, ready for her close-up kind of way. Okay, maybe we need to get some medicine. Alright, let's order some medicine then, I guess. I mean, that's definitely not good. Let's check it out. Okay, take your medicine. Oh yeah, she's definitely sick. Sick and pregnant, and she's holding a non-existent book. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, are you okay? I, I hope that means she's feeling better now. Elisabetha has taken medicine and su successfully combated her cold. Okay. Good. I'm gonna have Alona order some more seed packets because we want her to eat as many strawberries as possible. So let's see, did we get any strawberries? Open the seed packets, please. Do I really have to do this individually? Oh my goodness. Okay, we got one, two strawberries. Okay, no strawberries. No strawberries. <laughs> really? Okay, three strawberries so far. So far, so good. Let's keep this moving. Okay, that did nothing. We got three strawberries. We're gonna give that to Elizabetha and let's just have her eat all of them. We're gonna have her eat all the strawberries with her non-existent book. Wow, just keep eating them. Keep eating them. <laughs> eat all the strawberries. <gasps> oh, Christopher Barnes has transformed into a vampire. Where is he? Oh, oh, okay. All right, oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. Okay, then. Oh, and that's his normal form. All right, well, we can give him a little bit of a makeover. Let me go ahead and check out his outfits. Uh, change your outfit to... Uh, can we change it to his dark form? Is this his dark form? I don't know. No. All right, let me go ahead and go over here to outfits. Change outfit. I am not sure. We're gonna go over here. And let me see if we can go to dark form. Vampire show dark form. Here we go. What? What kind of dark form is that? You look like you just came out of like preschool. Like what? What kind of outfit are you wearing? I mean, he's got like the little makeup going on underneath the glasses. I don't- what? What kind of outfit are you wearing right now? Like, seriously? Okay, well, he definitely needs a makeover, but honestly, I don't really care that much. Let's check on Summer. She is back home from work, and she is extremely thirsty, the poor girl. Let's have her have some plasma packs. Okay, so I have updated my new mods, so now we can work this out. So the MC Pregnancy mod, what we can do is we can actually go ahead and have the pregnancy, like, in labor or whatever, like, right now. Now let's go back. And it actually already tells us what the baby is going to be. So she was eating a lot of strawberries. So as you can see, we're guaranteed to have a female baby. But if it said male, for example, like if we wanted a girl really that badly, what we can do is go over here to offspring and then we could put one right there to guarantee that we will have one female offspring. So that is what we're going to do. And I am just going to go ahead and have her go into labor right now pregnancy phase we're gonna put her in labor right now so now I wonder it is night it's like one o'clock in the morning Elizabeth is birthday bursting with anticipation to meet her new bundle of joy so does that mean that she can actually go to the hospital actions no outfits no uh, I don't think vampires can go to the hospital you know so I wonder, can we go into live mode? I, I should have, I mean, buy mode, I should have done this before, but we're gonna do it right now. So let's go over here to the bedroom and where do we find like the little bassinet or whatever? Let me just write that, write that in there. Bassinet, ancient bassinet. That is what we want. We can do a different color as well. What color should we get? What color? Well, I don't know, I don't know, purple? The purple one we're gonna go with the purple one because it looks amazing and where should we put this maybe preferably in their room well nobody has like a specific room they seem to all go in here but this one's kind of like more spacious so i guess we'll put it like right in front of the candle so you know it has a little candle light so we'll do that and let's just go ahead and have her go into labor so let me go ahead and check it out look at her she is bursting like literally bursting like oh my goodness dracula is like always sleeping like have you noticed that he have baby have baby at hospital okay we can go to the hospital then i would like to yes join 
we're gonna have Dracula, obviously, go with her so that she can go to the hospital. I'm sorry, Marguerite, we're, we're leaving now. We're going to the hospital. I mean, how is the doctor going to respond? Would, I guess they wouldn't like necessarily know that they were vampires or maybe the doctor's like really professional and he's like, you know, he, he wouldn't react negatively to serving vampires even though they could possibly like kill him or her. Um, so hopefully, you know, everything goes out smoothly. But yeah, vampires having babies at the hospital. Look at, <laughs> look at Dracula. He is so scared. He's like, oh my god, like, is this really happening right now? Elisabetta does not seem too happy about this, but that is too bad. We are having this baby, and it better be Draculaura. That's all I'm saying. So <laughs> he's so scared. Oh my goodness. He is crazy. He's going crazy right now. Oh, and Laguna is the nurse. <laughs> Laguna is the nurse. Oh my god, she's gonna give she's gonna help give birth to Draculaura. Like, can you believe that? That is actually amazing. Oh my god. That is so cool. How cool is that? And she has changed. Oh, she's apparently going to travel as a bat. And Draculaura's like Dracula's like, hey, hey Laguna, hey. So um I heard you I heard you're friends with my uh un upcoming daughter. You know, that's that's pretty cool, yeah. You know, yeah. That's pretty cool, yeah, I know. She's like, um, yeah, I, I guess, like, what? <laughs> okay, where is she? She is over here, like, by herself. Where's the doctor, first of all? He's, like, casually, how is she, like, already prepared? She's like, I'm ready. I'm ready to give birth to this baby. And Dracula just shows up. Okay, hopefully this is a good angle to check this out. Okay, so the lasers are going through. She's, uh, she's doing fine. Dracula's like going crazy. He's like terrified. <laughs> He's completely terrified right now, uh, which is actually hilarious, but she's looking pretty fine. She's like, I'm totally okay with this. Like, I don't know why you're like going crazy because look at him. <laughs> Wait, like you just have to see his face. You just have to see his facial expressions right now. Like, look at him. He's like, what? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> He's just like, oh my God. Oh my God. What is going on? <laughs> oh, oh my God. I think that is it. I think that is it, you guys. It's a girl! Yeah! So we finally gave birth to Draculaura! So Draculaura, Dracula, that's kind of that's kind of redundant, but that's okay. We're gonna go with that. And let's look at the baby! <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god! Here is Draculaura, the little baby! The little baby Draculaura. We have to give her a little makeover so that she can have pink skin because uh, that way she'll be as accurate as possible. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love how Dracula is just like on his phone casually. He's like, oh yeah, oh, gotta tell, gotta tell all my ghoul friends about this. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, she's already crying. <laughs> I just love this face. The face of like disgust. Like, ew, can you not kiss me? Like, please? <laughs> the little babies. They're so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dracula, like seriously, he's like playing some like Blick Block video games in the background while your your wife just gave birth and you're just gonna casually Oh Well that was adorable. That is adorable. Oh my god. They live happily ever after. So now we're gonna go home, I think. They're still chatting away. The doctor's like, yeah, my, my job is done now. So now we're gonna go back home. And now we can give a little bit of a makeover. Well, I guess we can't because she's still a baby. She's still an infant. But the great thing is that now that we have that update with the toddlers, we can see Draculaura as a toddler and that'll be really awesome. So let's go ahead and just so you know, check her out, you know, just check her out a little bit. We are back home. And where is our baby? Where is the baby? Here she is, the little baby Draculaura. Oh, she's so cute. Oh my god, this little bassinet with the bat on the top. That is so adorable. So here is Dracula. Let me go ahead and have her have her actually like, you know, talk to her baby. That would be great. That would be great. Uh, why don't we go ahead and uh, probably change her diaper first and then feed her. Oh, well, she's crying. Okay, maybe that wasn't a good idea. She's crying. 
She's gonna be a fussy little baby. Look at her. She's like, why are you bothering me right now? Like, I just got born. I just left the womb and you're waking me up already. Like, can you leave me alone, please? <laughs> Draculora. She is such a little fussy child. Like, oh my gosh. We're gonna have quite a handful. Quite a handful, I, I must say. Let me go ahead and have Dracula come over here as well so that he can actually spend time with his daughter. That would be great. So why don't we have him cuddle her and talk to her and all of that stuff. Just spending some time with her. Oh, look at Dracula with his daughter. Well, she's not crying with him. Look. <gasps> look, she's super happy. She's super happy with her dad, Dracula. How cute is that? Aw. That is so sweet. Oh my gosh. Well, oh, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Look at Draculaura. So happy to see Dracula. That is the cutest thing I have ever seen. And you know what? Uh, I think this is the perfect note to end on with little happy faces. Everybody is happy. Everybody is doing well. So, <laughs> I am going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a like. And if you're new, subscribe for some more Sims 4 Vampires, Sims 4 Monster High, and lots more Sims 4 content, as well as other games. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.